And basically, I was chatting to one girl that I met in the gym. Now, she used to like me back in the day. Um, and I was trying to move to her as well. This is a couple of years ago, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. She used to like me back in the day. Um, and then I tried to move to her in the gym. Yeah. So she liked me back in school days. And then, like, two years ago, I tried to move to her, but I didn't get her number or nothing like that. But anyway, I was chatting to her and I said, oh, like, what do you look like? Where do you see yourself in the next five years kind of thing? Um, and she was like, yeah. I see myself buying a property on the outskirts of London, yeah, like near Hertfordshire and that. Isn't it? Yeah. Now I don't know what anyone does on the side, and I ain't really, yeah. But for me, I just felt like she was just talking for the sake of talking. I asked her a question, and she gave me an answer. She said her five-year plan is to buy a property on the outskirts of London. Yeah? So let's say at the time. The properties on the outskirts of London were worth 250 grand, yeah? Whatever goal she has, whatever target she has in mind now, she needs to remember that that goal post continuously moves, yeah? So if you're looking, this is you right now, talking to you, the viewer, whatever property you're looking at right now, just remember in five years' time, that property is going to go up in value, yeah? So if, you, if you're looking to buy a property for 250 grand, today and you're going to save up for five years to get that property just remember yeah that property is going to be worth a lot more yeah so it's almost like you're chasing the wind right now here's where when i said earlier i ain't looking at what people doing on the side or everything this girl's a fucking receptionist yeah she's a receptionist yeah just like that damn fool from chingford probably earning less than 70 pound a ras clark day yeah the girl's a receptionist yeah earning 70 bomber clark pound a day yeah how are you saving up to buy a property and it's 70 pound a day? Yeah. Now, yeah, you can save up for 30 years or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. But in order to get that same property in five years, how are you, you going to save up to get that to get that property in five years? Unrealistic. Unrealistic. Yeah. For me personally, right? It should only take you about two and a half years, three years to buy a property or whatever to save up. Yeah. You have to be disciplined. Get rid of all the things in this world that you don't need and be focused on buying that property. Yeah? You should be able to save up enough money. At least, at least, at least have the deposit. Yeah, Because having a deposit and being able to afford the mortgage is two different things. Yeah? But yeah, it shouldn't take you, it, it shouldn't take you more than two years to be able to save up like 25 grand. If you're living at home with your parents, so let's, cons let's say you're living at home with your parents and you're earning decent money, right? Like, okay money right let's say you're on a hundred pound a day or something like that right if you're living at home with your parents and you're on a hundred pound a day you should be able to say what to buy a property but at least have the deposit for a property that's worth 250 within three years if you if you if if you earn a hundred pound a day imagine you, you you earn two grand a month or whatever yeah let's say you take home two grand a month yeah? If you're not able to save a grand a month, right? That means your outgoings are too much. Yeah. That means, I don't know, them Netflix accounts you got, they all them things that you subscribe to, all them things that they need to go off, huh? Yeah. If you're earn, if you're earning two grand a month, take home, and you live at your parents' house, yeah. As long as your parents ain't trying to make no money because there's some fuckery parents out here charging their youths five hundred pound a month. Like that's that's a I don't I don't get when parents do that. But if if you're living at your parents' house and you're giving them let's say two fifty a, a month or whatever, yeah, you should be able to save up. I say nine hundred pound to a grand. Yeah, let's say nine hundred pound a, a month easily or a grand a month easily. If you're not, that means your outgoings are too high. Yeah. Oh, I need to live. I need to live. Yeah, that's what I need to spend this money. Well, yeah, you you go and live. You're gonna live a very long time at your parents' house. So maybe not live for three years or live really minimalistic. Yeah, for three years, save up your money and buy a property. Yeah, even if it's quite far out, get yourself on a property ladder. Yeah, get yourself on a property ladder. Man.